today you're gonna see a footage which is super super old this video i think it's a perfect example for the thing that if you have limited resources for example you're a content creator you're a food blogger and yeah you just want to make something out of nothing then this is a good example here that you use use up the resources you have today we're going to talk about natural light in food photography important things to understand doesn't matter how great camera gear you have you still need to think about lighting and i really believe that without great lighting there can't be no great photographs i really remember the time when i just started out uh, with my food photography then i used to shoot in the dark kitchen at night time yes exactly i was one of those crazy ones who were cooking at night time and studying law at daytime my work got way way better once I decided to pay attention on the light and that's why I'm gonna give you four tips to improve your photography. Tip number one is that use window light. It sounds like completely basic but uh, stand next to the window and you can use a side light or overhead shot or you can use the window as a backlight. For this shoot I decided to go for the overhead shot since I bake those uh, delicious cheesecakes out of uh, cashews and uh, I decided to not uh, go for the fancy some kind of fancy setup here I just want to show you guys that it's completely possible to make really nice photos at home as well tip number two is that uh, use natural softbox yes I know what you're thinking but basically the whole cloudy sky is a natural softbox and you don't need a fancy gear here tip number three is that you can block the light so basically what happened during the shoot, sun came out and then uh, I got that really big uh, highlights and harsh light on the food. So I decided to use the white curtain to block the light. However, it was still not satisfying enough since even if I was over or under, or under exposing, I got the clipping for problem here. And then what I decided to do is I decided to uh, block the light with a bed sheet. Yes, exactly. Old school bed sheet is the perfect solution here. Tip number four is that manipulate the light. By this one, I mean that you can use white, black, blue or gray boards to reflect the light on the food. But again, it always depends on uh, what's your goal, what's your uh, purpose there, because here I wanted a really nice soft light there and really nice soft box, basically. And then I ended up with this one. Mm, look at these ones. Oh, no, this is the best part. You can eat. You can always eat and, and you're never hungry if you're a food photographer. If you like this video, then give it a like and make sure you subscribe. Bye!